All right, I wanted to uh, kind of make a schematic for this board <clears throat> because I, I really like it. So um, here are all of the uh, gain settings, all of the resistors in here. So I've started to uh, map them out here. So the bottom resistor is 10 ohms. So the way they're used is this trans impedance amplifier. Uh, pin 3 is grounded. This is the OP16 and a very nice op amp. So the input, uh, the input is here. Okay, there's going to be a uh, uh, some type of photodiode to ground over here, something like that. So the current's going to come in here, and then this transpedance amplifier is going to force the negative current this way, so they they cancel out to ground right here. And so this is a, a nine pole switch, uh, nine position switch switch um, that selects one of these nine sets of resistors here, and that sets up the uh, gain. Uh, the bigger the resistor, the more the gain. All right. So uh, so I started tracing the circuit out, and the circuit's kind of strange. Um, I need to do some more investigations here, but um, let's see here. Over over here is the OP16. These are all of the gain settings. Here's the switch. So um, the output, however, uh, so the inputs and all the switch, all that stuff makes sense. The output, though, on pin six uh, comes over and goes through a buffer. So this is some type of high current push pull buffer um, for the output, and I haven't traced that out quite yet. What I decided, let's go ahead and hotwire it. Uh, so I have uh, plus and minus five volts coming into the board, which I believe is correct. The batteries are plus and minus six volts, but there's regulators, so I think probably regulating it to plus and minus five volts, maybe five and a half. I don't know. I need to check that out. But I put five and a, uh, plus five and a half volts into it. There's also some regulators over here that are two and a half volt reference zeners, so it generates some very accurate voltages in this part of the circuit where that comparator is. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Maybe it shuts down if it doesn't see. I don't know. I don't know what it is for. I'm just guessing. All right, my little LED for the backlight is lighting up. But what I did find out is uh, it works. So I am going to feed it. Uh, is that camera exposing that correctly? Probably not. So, uh, yeah, so here is a reference. So one volt, it's set to minus one volt right now. And that is going through a resistor, which is 100 K ohms, uh, that sets up a current. So that voltage in this resistor sets up a current, one volt and 100 K. That's gonna go into the input. I'm gonna monitor the output on the scope over here. And let's see if I can get this all on screen together. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, so uh, one volt, uh, two volts here, one volt, two volt, three volt. So you can see that it's working, it's working correct. And if I put in a, a negative one volt, a positive one volt, it's negative, it's an inverting amplifier. One volt, two volts, three volts, four volts. So I, I think the board is working great. And also I can do things like uh, one volt, and then I can uh, change the gain range on my, um, uh, so this is a lower gain, higher gain, higher gain. So the gain settings on the front panel seem to be working. So I believe uh, my box here is going to work perfectly, um, except I can't read anything out on the front panel. All right. And that's because my, uh, my front panel display is busted. Now, the, the front panel display, should we put the, uh, yeah, let's put the, let's put the red LEDs going through it. Let's see what that looks like. Can you see? Yeah, it's very, very dim. <laughs> it's very, very dim. Okay. Anyway, uh, the um, front panel display has circuitry associated with it. It's got some uh, parts here, HC86. I think those are exclusive OR gates. And then it has some um, logic here down on the board, which is um, oops, uh, some three input NAND gates. 
so I think what's going on is depending on what range you're on. Oh, just a second. Yeah, I got a phone call from my um, fix it guy. My dishwasher is on the fritz, so uh, you need to schedule that to get fixed. All right. Um, so what I think the circuit is doing is depending on the range switch. So it's a two pole nine throw. I think that's what you say. It's a two pole nine throw. One of the poles is used to select the resistor. The other pole just uh, is nine positions and those they go into the circuitry here to determine which one of these range settings you have and it moves the decimal place and that i think that's all this this thing does here is it it moves the decimal place on the display and uh, then i think there's uh the display itself has analog to digital conversion on it. So you just bring in a voltage. So it's just a voltmeter, but you need to place the decimal point in the correct spot. So I should be able to duplicate that all with an Arduino and a little uh, OLED display or something and pop that in there. So I'm going to worry about that later. Um, the box though is functional. Jeez, my uh, voltmeter just timed out. Um, but the board is functional so I can use it already just with an external voltmeter and see what's going on. So that is very good news. Um, now I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do with the power supply section. Um, let me get this out of the way. Uh, what do I want to do with the power supply section? Do I want to just leave it as is and put some batteries in it? I need eight AA blah -de blahs or just run it off of run it off of power. So I need to figure out what I want to do there. I don't want to invest a lot of money in this thing. I just wanted an amplifier. So I need to think that through. Anyway, the board seems to be working great. I may still try to reverse engineer a bit of it, but maybe not because it seems to be working just fine. I believe this section over here is just going to be a Zener not a Zener, why am I thinking? A Darlington, a Darlington configuration um, push-pull. So but a PNP Darlington and an NPN Darlington that'll go through ground. Or maybe two NPNs you can do there that way too. Um, go through ground so that you are alleviating the op amp from any current that's needed, okay? Um, because this thing does go to a 200 milliamp range, so you need to be able to force 200 milliamps, and that little OP16 is not going to be able to do that. So I think that's what this is all for, and why it's heat, heat sink and everything, to be able to apply plus or minus uh, 200 milliamps. So that makes a whole bunch of sense. And then uh, the output is just a voltage, so the other op amp can just handle that all by himself. Anyway, good news. Thank you.